Okay, so it's Gimel again. It's Gimel. So what it's going to be must be now is that even though overtly in the parsha, Yehuda is the Makabal, Yosef is the Mashpia, nonetheless, Bepnimius, as reflected or expressed in Aftoira, even now set in place is the ultimate Ashpa that comes Dakva from Malchus. As we mentioned yesterday, there are three stages. And Malchus is the recipient, then there's an equality and the, between Malchus and Zoh, Mashpia and Makabal, and then the Makabal becomes the ultimate Mashpia. They are concurrent levels, and as we said, they exist in, in all Mashpia and Makabal relationships, most, most notably, most uh, intensely, in the most fulfilled ways, husband and wife, which is Mamash the of Zohar Malchus. Person and Kala. At any rate, so we even understand how even in the Parsha, this is all set in place as follows. So when Yehuda wanted to be Ma'ira Yosef, he said to him, Yehuda says to Yosef, you are like Pare. What do they mean by that? Over and above, what Rashi explains. The explanation. Since we're talking about the Yerida, the Mashpia is going to get down to the level of the Makabal. That's something that the Mashpia would naturally resist. So therefore, Yehuda is explaining to Yosef. On the contrary, it's for your own benefit. To be in Ali and your Madrege, which is Madrege of Zov, you saw it. She here come like a party, be like party. Bring in the party. What's party? Party is the king. So, what's the king? The king is the crown. That's what it's called, the crown. The party of Bechinus Akasher Shalamayan and Mishtal Shalos, the party is a Kasher Hyde and Mishtal Shalos. This is what Yosef told. The Mitzrayim, after when the famine had struck and they were forced to sell their land and themselves to Paro, he gave them grain and he said, When the Satim Hamish is the Paro, a fifth of its yield you give to Paro, Darba Yodis Yelachem, and four hands you will keep to yourself. The implication here is there's two pairs of hands. These two pairs are different total of four. So this what are the two? That total of four. So the Arba Yoda is saying Chachmo Bina, that's one pair. And Zun, Zo, and Malchus, another pair, which is Ishtaushalos. Ishtaushalos is you. The Hamish is with the fifth Darge. So that goes in Kesa Shalomani Mishtaushalos. Now, taking this further, it's not merely a matter of you give, you take what's yours and what's beyond the Shalos, beyond belongs to beyond the Shalos. Yeshleimah, not so. The four that you will keep, is actually kind of answering a diuk, the order of his instruction. A fifth to pari and four you keep for yourself. They're concerned with themselves. So four you you keep, you take four. In, gash, in Gashmi is what comes first, the giving to pari or the taking. Taking. He gave them the grain, they sowed it, it grew. So you keep four fifths and a fifth you'll bring to, to pari. Yet he mentions the fifth to pari first. So aside from the fact, because it's the higher darge, another reason. I'm just in, suggesting that this is, he's answering this subtle thing in this Yesh Loimer. Again, the Zesh Arba Yodis Yelechem, the four portions, the four hands that belong to you, but Behemshech Lechamishis, the Paroi, they come Behemshech. You give Paroi Lechamishis, and then four. Implication being that your four undergoes a, a metamorphosis, a transformation as a result of the Chamishis, the Paroi. Which means, so through you connecting to the Chamishas the Pari, I'm Shochas Hakesa Shalomayim Mishdal Shalos. 
So that's a connection to Kesem, which is hiding Shtam Shalos. So the four that you will keep, Gamma Arba Hayodis, the four that are yours, namely Yishtam Shalos, creation, him Oif and Naila Yosa, completely a lofty level, lofty level, suffused and connected with the level of Hamishas the Parik. Further detail to explain this, Kadisa Bezayar, just one second. First few gaps are critical. This is the Hamish is the party. Then the Hemshech will be good. Kedisa, but like I say, some prayer in Zayar, the para you see it's a para, the word para from the word priya. That's the word that's used in the process of Mila, this cutting this priya, peeling back and revealing the head of the aver. So pari means, says the Zoya, to say, Moisius, Mamish, is periyo vis galyin minei kol nohele. It's a level where it's peeled back and revealed all the lights. Kol nohele. The diak now, kol nohele. Pari is a level that reveals, in summary, all the lights. The ashloim beresha pirosh is periyo kol nohele ho. What's the call the Hayden? He's one level, he's Hamishis, he's, he's, he's Kesef, the Mari Mishtalshalus. What's the call the Hayden? The Eshleimer. It is a Loshan Hazoyer, been around forever. Now the Diok. Shapir Shispir, you call the Hayden, who all the lights are revealed literally. Shadi Amshoch as a Kesef Paroi. The whole Kavon here is that there should be Damshoch of Kesef Paroi, and therefore Gamma Giluim, all the subsequent lower manifestations, revelations, no hidden, the lights, the Ishtal Shalos, Heimbo Ifen this period. They're in a way that is peeled back, mean to say, unheld back, full revelation. Meaning the Mayde Meak beyond limitation. And that's the point. So the question now is, but what's it, what's happening now that isn't any way in place as a result of Ishtal Shalos? Kesed is there, and the Ishtal Shalos emerges below it. What's changed? Answer. Even though the Inyon Mishib Ishtal Shalos Arba Yodai said, Him Shachim Tomed Mea Kesed, Shemayim Ishtal Shalos. Even though, obviously, Ishtal Shalos comes from higher than Ishtal Shalos. Remember the Yavonim were maskim on a level of bligvol, as long as it's understood that there has to be some kind of bligvol from which gvol emerges. There has to be some constant, some forever, somewhere. So that's the way it is mitzad, seichel mitzad ishtashalit itself. The chiddush here now was, and this is the avoida that's happening, because he'll, which he'll explain in the maimed, of course, the maimed, the, the personal avoida, mikomokem, and it's what he, Yehuda is setting in place and explaining to Yosef, as it were. What happens is like this. From Keser under normal circumstances, not Avoide, not going beyond, not as a result of Yehuda's entreaties. Keser is removed and therefore Ishtal remains in its limitations. But this Indian expressed in the fifth part, and therefore, the Arba Yodes Yelachem, who Shagam, Shakamashin, Shachem, Begili, Bishtaushalos, even the levels that are emerge in a revealed way in Ishtaushalos, which overtly are limited, and they are limited, nonetheless, Nirgish Baham, they should feel sense. Interesting choice of words that's used throughout Chsidis. Nirgish. Nirgish. Uh, felt means as opposed to this is the this is the experience. You're not experiencing bleakful. But there's a sense in Yirgish. That's sort of what that means. Either you experience or you don't experience it. But there is this level in between where you cannot experience it, your main gvul, but there's the Nirgish. And this is throughout Khsidis that the person should be margish, sense, feel the this a truth that's higher than him. Yeah, to a certain extent, like there's Matthias, whether you feel it or not, 
the, the, the question is, I, I, you feel it, you have a sense of it. Right, now, what does feel mean? Experience means experience, then, then the Indian is with you. I was saying Indian is not, you remain, the Bligvul is not revealed in his full glory, which would dissolve Gvul out of existence. But Nirgish Behem Bligvul. The emphasis is that, that for this to happen is because only Kirch Atzmus. How can Gvul be Margish Bligvul? This is all Kirch Atzmus. They're all part of the Kavan of Dirab Tachtoinim invested. Present in every level of Ishtalshalas, mm-hmm. awaiting us through Avoida to access the presence of the Abish did himself in every level, where at every level, relatively speaking, the impossible occurs, the Yichud occurs. A Yichud can only happen when there's a transcendent essential level that is common to both and transcends them both equally. Right? A common, right? A common. Foundational, you say it in this ever present to one degree or another. When we speak about Aveda or something that is, when we speak about the Kavana being realized, it's always, it, it involves this, this Yichud. It's all about Yichud. So, what's the, the Chidush here, the Chidush? What's, what's being accomplished here that now, unlike under normal circumstances where Bligvol is a world that is just spoken of, but not more. Now it's Nirgish, drawn. Bahem, Sham Shachosom, the their Mitzias, what's drawn into them? The their Mitzias, Gvul, he, Meha Kesa Shalamani Mishtal Shalas, is not just saying that they feel something which is beyond them. They feel that which is beyond them is their source. That's where they come from. Shachosom, Meha Kesa. It's a little bit more than we were just saying the last few moments. Sorry, the sentence that I'm sure Shlachos are beyond this in the shop and coming may have said. That's the way it is. Now it's Nirgish. Now it's Nirgish. And what is Nirgish? The Deham Shachas from Kesa. Why is it not normally in Nirgish? Because normally it's through the Tzimtzum and so on. Did I miss some lines here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. this So normally Kesar is removed from their world because it they emerge from Kesar, they ishtalshal is everything, but through the process of Tsimsum and and then Alamas Vestadium and and uh, and Mesachim and veils, all of the metaphors. Here we're talking about relatively speaking, a direct Tamshacha. But nonetheless, the Gvul remains Gvul, but the Gvul recognizes that his whole Metzius is really rooted in Bli Gvul. So then what happens? For us, hey, but if in this period, then they're not locked. The levels of Ishtalkshus are not locked in their own little world, but there's this Bli Gvul property to every level of Ishtalkshus. In truth, this is all the infinite expression of Hashem. To put that in different language, what it means is, what it's Ultimately, what it means is that gvul, the gvul expressions are margish, that they're just as much expressions of Abishta's bligvul, and it is the Abishta's true bligvulness that he's manifesting himself this way, gvul, bligvul, it's all him. The gvul is no less expression of him than, than classic bligvul in Cassidy's. All hymns. That means even this period, they're not limited, they're not locked in, in 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 the tzir, but the tzir expresses the bligvulness of it all. Namely, the Abish to choosing to express himself in this way is still infinite. It's God's choice to express himself this way. So it's not a, it's him. So it's it's a it's an, a one expression of his infinite possibilities of bligvul, which makes this part of the bligvul expression. In a way, that means that a person who remains a person with all those limitations on one level, and yet he's able to go beyond his limitations. He discovers that he, he can go beyond that which he thought he was. Because at his source, his bleak vote. He can push the envelope. Let's go further. See in the, in the ISIS of the Maimed. 
Hamshocha b'ayfin zeh, so hamshocha in such a way that what? Yosef is integral to this whole equation. Hamshocha of keser of bleak vol of pari ispiriyum menei kol nohirin. Ispiriyum is gali menei kol nohirin. So for this hamshocha to be drawn into ishtal shal is felt by ishtal shal, so it's through, it's how you saw it. Let's look at order 19. That's Kiddush, like why you saw it. So he brings here, I mean, the Hezbeb refers to some Raya. So you see how the 19. Shall you say it? Nikla Bishem Maskil. You say it is called Maskil. Maskil, of course, is the source of Chachma, Taid and Shalos. Maskil in general, it's Chachma. It's the source from where all our scholars emerge. We've learned Maskil, Listen, Azrach, we've learned my Marim on this whole Indian. It's the infinite source of the producer's chacham. So what does the Pasuk say? That Yisoyed is called masculine. We I mean, need to say that Yisoyed is rooted in not just... Yisoyed is not merely just part of Yishtal Shalos, but has a, a unique and direct connection to Haydn Yishtal Shalos, which is masculine. But we see this but until him. Ashe maskil el dol. Simple pshat in the pasuk is happy, fortunate is the one who maskil who uh, understands the poor. Pashat. but deeper level, dull, the poor, the recipient is malchus. So the mashpia to malchus is yisoid, and what's the, how does the pasuk refer to him as maskil, implying. As he goes on to say after the square brackets, the Zeshi said Mashbia the Malchus. How is you said able to be Mashbia to Malchus? That's because in Yisoid is drawn down the source of Chachma, Maskil, Keser. And who's made of that? The Makabal. It's exactly what we're saying here that, that Yehud has been made Yosef invoking his source, Paray, which is Maskil. Different ICS for the whole Indian. But the same same model. We're clear. Yes. Just the language. Okay, good. Let's go further. So it's all through your side. Why we look now in the order? Because your side has this latent transcendent source that Malchus is Ma'irir. Kinyon is shall you say to Mashpia le Malchus? You say this Mashpia to Malchus, but they should be as Paul the Mata in order for that spot to come all the way down to Malchus. I day I'm Shocha me a Kesser. It has to come from Kesser. This is a general principle for a teacher to be able to explain a concept to a, a student that's not in his world at all. To a grade one student, a very deep, a deep idea of other rabbi, you got to go very deep to the to the etzem seichel to be able to find oisius to express it to the child. You can't express the seichel as he knows it in his seer and chachma. He's got to go to the keicha maskel there, to the very essence of the seichel, and then find entirely new oisius that can be brought down to the child. As we all know, to explain a difficult concept. To someone not in your world, requires going much deeper yourself in, in grasping it at its core, than just to express it in in the, to someone who's in your tzir, as your language and has your tzir. So for your soiti must be a malchus that has to draw on kesen. Now going back to the whole dialogue here, zeosh omar paroi. Kesel the Yosef, and that in fact is what Pari said to Yosef. In their relationship, Pari is Kesel Yosef as Yisoid. Obviously, this is not the the, the, the story. Can I say the favor of Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, thank you. A little more stretching than you bargained. So you're doing a little more stretching than you bargained. Looks like you need to stretch. Yeah. 
so I'm just, I'm just saying that this is not what's happening consciously. This is despite Pari. This is this source Lamaila. It's all reflected. The embers is the opposite. In the opposite. The, just to mention this, everybody knows that, but it's worth mentioning. We have to remind ourselves. The famous teaching of the Shalah. Upon which one of the Svarnatani is based, no less. That the world makes a mistake. The world says that the Torah medaberes be tachtoinim medameres medameres belyonim. The opposite. The Torah speaks belyonim medameres be tachtoinim. So it all, it all played itself out later with Paroi and Yosef. But the Pnimius, it is what it is. First and foremost, not read into later hintings. The opposite. At any rate, so Paroi says to Yosef, after Ti Al Beisi, you'll be put over my house. Valpicha Yisha Kol Ami, and my, everybody will be sustained. Rashi explains it means Nizan through my people through you. Baladecha and Layodim Ishes Yodiv exactly nobody aside from you can raise the literally the hands and their feet. No one is they're completely subordinate to you, and you will be the one that provides them for their for their sustenance for their for their uh, existence. So this. Model is what we're talking about. So the Amshocha, with all the whole source of it, is Kesser. Pasha Begashmi is in the story, everything belonged to Pari. So this Amshocha that now is being Nimshech, which we're saying that the Hamish is the Pari, suffuses the Arbi Yodos. Who is it? Through whom? The whole Hadarg is the Ishtalshalis, and every level of Ishtalshalis, call Ami. All my people, it's through you. Al picha yishak kol ami. Yisvira sa yisoid. Al picha de Yosef. You will sustain them. Yafo pekin nonetheless. Raka kise egdomi meko. Still, the throne, I will, I, in, in the throne, I remain greater than you. As the pastor continued. Meaning, the zesh ha yisoid mamshich mekese. At this point, we're not finished the whole relationship. But at this point, this that you said is Mamshir from Kesser, this is the low level of Kesser, Arik, because it's connected to Ishtalshalus. So, because it's connected to Ishtalshalus, what's the result of this revelation? Ishtalshalus becomes suffused with this level, but to begin with, it's a level that is a connection to Ishtal Shalos. Avala Kisei. Reim Vesvaisnas is the true exaltedness. Hain HaKeser Atzmai. But the Keser itself. Shemarumam. Amuv Dom Ishtal Shalos. Which is Amuv from Ishtal Shalos. Ain in Nimsh Shechal Yedei Yisoyed. It's not drawn down through Yisoyed. At this stage. However. So what he's saying like this. Yisoyed already has its relationship with Keser. But only Panimius, I guess. <clears throat> so I have, to, I have to correct what I said earlier. I already invoked Malchus being murdered. You saw it. This is before Malchus has been murdered. You saw it. This is already you saw it having the capacity to be Mashpia be, and Lamata because of his natural root in Kesset. But that's. I guess. What Malchus is pale is that you say it connects to Pneumius, I guess. So this dynamic is already without the need for Yehuda, as in the storyline. We just what well, we just read this before Yehuda comes into the picture. That's the dynamic between Pada Yosef and the people. The people are Ishtalshalos. Yosef is Yisait. He and because Yosef and because Yosef is rooted in has this natural connection to, to Maskil El Dol. He has a connection to Maskil Yisoid. Therefore, Pari remains Paroi, but the Zamshocha of Chitzen, the Chitzenist level of Pari, Chitzen Yisakese, which is so far the level of Paroi, through Yisoid, through what? All of Ishtal Shalos. But that is not the natural state either. 
natural state is that 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 Kesses Bachal removes the Al Charogil. So this is already at the beginning of the Kavona. Kavona is that will be suffused with, with Bligvul. So stage one is before Malchus comes in, it's Mitzad, the Avoid of Yosef. He says Yosef's Avoid, Avoid of Yesoid, capitalizing on his being rooted in Chitzen Yesakeser. He's already beginning the process of being Mashbi and the Arab Yodis is Periyu, bringing the Hergish of Bligvul into Gvul. It's not the Etzim yet. Then comes finally the role of Malchus. Now concluding, now Yehuda comes into the picture. This was all before Yehuda, clear? And he is the Mail of Malchus. Yisoid, we said, was rooted in Chitzen Yisakeser. But Shredesh HaMalchus, Yisakeser Atzimai. But Malchus is rooted in Pnim Yisakeser. Elo, here comes the big paradox. Yisoid doesn't need anybody to be murdered. Yisoid, no, the level of Yisoid carries this overtly, consciously. But by Malchus, it's all Behele. Malchus is a worldly makabal. Malchus doesn't recognize her own, her own shoyrish. That's the beauty, oblivious to her own level. Her source is behelem, rooted in primis akeser. Who is megalit? Vagilish leadezo. Zo is 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 megalit. Yehud is like requesting Zo to be ma'ayre the source. So through Zobing Ma'irin arousing within Malchus her Shirish. It's a Makesel. Gamzo Miss Allah the Dargazu. Now only if via Malchus the Zo access, not just Khitsain is a Kesel, but this Darga Prim is a Kesel. And that's what Yehud is telling you. So that's where all this is going. The Zesh Om Yudala Yosef, be Adini Kikam Vecha Kapari, be Mash, be in me. And then, if you through them being mashbi and me in Yehuda, Hashem from Yisoid, Adon Yosef, the Hashbo that comes from Yisoid, which is my Lord Yosef, Shaydezem is is galib and Malchus Hashem is Shalom. That's going to be Ma'ayir. That something's going to happen. It's going to surprise you. That's going to be Ma'ayir in my Shoyrish Malchus. That's my kesser. And then you'll be Kamoicha Kapara. That's why he tells him because he's telling him that in addition to all the tremendous ashbar that you did till now, you did so because that's your function, you lived up to your task, accessing, connecting to paroi, but what level of paroi? And that's why you're able yishakol ambi, you'll be able to mashbir all the way low down and bring the hergish of bligvul in gvul. But that's not the tachlis. The tachlis is not just the hergish of bligvul, but the tachlis is that the etzim should suffuse all of existence. And that etzim is accessed dafki in malchus because, because of her hell and because of her bitl. And you be made that in me, then come echa kapara. Then you, Zoh, and all of his tashlis become suffused with this, the etzim darga pari, pnimi sakeser, the nisava, that's the real nisava. Nisava is taino, that's in pnimi sakeser. That's where Hashem's real desire and essence of this will then be manifest through you recognizing the mile of the makab. Brain dafke in the concealment. That is where the deepest connection lies, right? The same model. Yeah. Somewhat clear, gents. So let's just summarize the Seder and Yonim. So there's three Matsovim so far. There is the Matsov before Yosef's Avoid, before any Avoid. The way they wish to create the Ishtal is just detached and removed. And then in Ishtal Shalos, you have Yesoid and you have Malchus. And there is this, uh, I guess there is some relationship of Hashpa. But not in a way that is Periyo Kol and not suffusing all of Ishtal Shalos with any Hergish of anything that's higher than creation. That's one matzav. Natural 
the natural order of things. Then comes the Avoid level one. We are so is my spear in Malchus and not in Malch, not in Malchus, meaning to say in all of the Dargis below. Yisoid is taking his responsibility as a mashpia properly. And how is he able to mashpia even the lowest levels? Because he's rooted in masculine. Eldol, the Yisoid is rooted in Haydn Ishtalshalus, meaning to say Chitzenia Sakasa, and therefore he's able to bring a sense, a hergish of that which is higher to all of Ishtalshalus. But that's higher. But the etzim of Ishtal Shalut, the etzim of Olikos, which is Primius HaKeser, like Akisei Egdol Yimeka, that remains still removed from, from even from Yosef, and certainly from the rest of Ishtal Shalus. Then comes the big Chiddush, Biyadini. Zog to Yehuda to Yosef. Yes, you should know that in me, despite the fact that overtly I'm just being the Makabal all along. And, but by the Shoyrish, however, of Malchus is Primius HaKeser. The Shoresh of Malchus is the Pnimis of Alikus. Why? Because this Avaka, this Baruch of God's desire, Atmos' desire, is to be revealed where Dafkin Helem. And that Helem and Gvul starts with Malchus. Which the whole union of Mashiach is Melech and Melech and Mashiach and Malchus. It's the whole union. So Malchus is rooted where? In that's in the Pnimis. That's the Pnimis HaKavon. So if you be Mashpia, through being mashpia in Malchus, and with this recognition, I guess what the Chiddush now is, is the recognition that the Shodesh of Malchus is higher. Till now, getting some clarification. In the second level, there is a Hashpah already. So what's in between the second level now, the third level? In the second level, he's being mashpia because he's higher. He has what to give, and the recipient does, uh, doesn't have. So he's giving, and he's giving, and he's giving. The whole physical description there of, of Yosef sustaining the entire people. But he's the mashpia. Now he's told you should know that you're not. You mashpia on this level, but the mekabalim, they are the real mashpia. There's a new kind of ashpa now. Ashpa with the sense of that Malchus is rooted in it's much a humble Ashpah, it's all different kind of Ashpah, and that's what Yehuda is invoking now. What? So, is the difference that the coming from Malchus at this point is not, uh, does not want to give, Malchus is asking to receive. Yes, but, and how is Malchus asking? What's Malchus saying? What's Malchus saying? That you're going to reach the level of Paroi because you should know that in Malchus is the deepest connection. So as I said before, till now you saw you saw this being Mashpia, you said Mashpia and sustaining. He's the Mashpia. He, he is the have and the have not. He's the have and is the have not. And the have nots are getting beautifully. In the way of the Hergish, even of the Shoyrish, feeling it all comes from, from Paroi, from Keser. But now it's a whole new relationship. The have not turns out to be the one that has the ultimate. So, so he's saying, don't be mashpia now you know, as, as, as the sacrifice doing the favor. Your, your ultimate destiny and your ultimate connection to the truth is through dafka through the makabal through malchus. That's a new kind of ashba. That's what Yosef Yehuda is saying. Because only then can come Till now you are not like par, and you can never be. You'll never touch parai bepnimius, meaning the pnimius akavana, the etzim of alikus. The etzim of alikus will be when you are pause in such a way that you recognize that the makabal therein lies the true connection. You're still puzzled. Why? The way you're saying it, it seems like kamech to parai, malchus, so to speak, it, it has knows, so to speak, that it's all Cherish is, is in us what's in higher than you know. It seems like it's it, it's um it's Behalem. Um Yehud is revealing it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yehud is to revealing it. You heard it's Behalem and he's saying via the I have nothing uh, and only after that it's come out after like there's no agenda involved in the hashbar in the in the request to for 
Love Dafke. This is Toyer and Toyer is Megale the Inyanim. So Toyer, he kikachamecha kipadle. He's not saying afterwards. It's is in it's in one fluid conversation. He's not saying after you give me what I want. He's telling him the result right here and now. So the Toyer, Toyer, oh, Toyer is Megale the Inyan. What's happening? The Pnimius, and that is that through the Ashba. The only then is the makabel uh, is the mashpia truly connecting to the to the etzem because the etzem is invested in the makabel, not the mashpia. And Torah is is is, is revealing this. Torah, and your tension is the whole mile of malchus is that malchus doesn't feel this. So that's true. That's the overt so level of malchus. But your Torah is megala here the deeper story and revealing it in such veiled terms, obviously, that, it, that it's a story here <laughs> of and Yosef, and it's completely lost, and was lost for thousands of years. Saying it, but Behelem, even in the words, it's not even, not revealed. So this is Megala, the Indian now before Mashiach comes, the, the depth of what's going on, but he, even in all of this, even though it was happening, it's always happening, this is, this is, the is happening with every mitzvah, but the appreciation of the Tachten was not expressed. Now, will be Megalit. Okay.